Which of the following best completes the passage? Pasteurization of milk is a process by which milk is heated to a certain temperature and then rapidly cooled, killing pathogens and increasing the milk's shelf life. Recently, pasteurization has come under fire because it has been found that during pasteurization, many helpful digestive enzymes are destroyed, and many dangerous pathogens, including the uh, MAP or MAP bacterial strain, which is linked to Crohn's disease, are not. Because of this, some people have started drinking raw milk milk, which is not pasteurized or otherwise processed. Proponents of pasteurization point out that that, pasteuriz that that pasteurization is still necessary to reduce bacterial contamination, and that heating milk at, at home also kills beneficial digestive enzymes. Raw milk drinkers argue that this argument is beside the point, since most people who drink milk do not heat it first, or else misleading since what? So we need another reason that... Um, so we have, we have two reasons why... Um, talking about how heating milk at home is not a helpful thing to say. So, so we have number one, most people don't do it. Number two, we would need a reason that like, even if they do, something bad happens. That's typically how you know, arguments work, that you know, most people don't do what you just said. And if they do, the, whatever you just said somehow doesn't support the point you need. So we need something tied to heating up milk. So, A, many of the proponents of pasteurization are dairy farmers who rely on the increased shelf life of pasteurized milk to ship their product further away. So that's certainly a reason in favor of pasteurization, not something raw milk people guys would say. Uh, B, it is clear that killing pathogens that may be present in milk is not the only effect of pasteurization. It is clear, but that's not part of the argument. It's not something that raw milk drinkers would... Um, would use to support their point about uh, or used to support their objection to pasteurization fans talking about heating milk at home. Uh, C. Cooked milk is generally heated to a higher temperature than pasteurized milk is. It's an irrelevant comparison. Uh, D. Milk that is subjected to both processes loses even more of the helpful digestive enzymes than milk subjected to either process alone. So that's more like what we were looking for. We had not only do most people not heat their milk, but when they do, if it's pasteurized first, it loses even more of what's good in milk, which is something that the raw milk drinkers would totally say because they're the ones who are all in favor of these helpful digestive enzymes. So choice D would be something the raw milk drinkers would say.